May 19th gardening chores, bee balm, drumstick flower, cape daisies, cape daisies. Roselle seeds. That pot is for a sugar baby watermelon. Creeping time, which is looking kind of sad, so I hope it recovers. Okra. Okinawan pink. Motherland from the seeds that came off of John's farm, not Baker Creek. And I put two per thing, so we'll see how many come up. All right, what else do we have? Strawberries that need to be picked. I'll do that when I go in. Over here, I've got some plants in the ground. Cape daisies, clary sage. The rest of the lavender here and down on this end because I mirror these. So, rest of the lavender, Cape Daisy, and Clary Sage. I also used the hula hoe to hoe the beds that have exposed dirt and I am training this Benny Kadama watermelon up on the trellis. I have super growth on this thing. This is a um, ground cherry and I am getting my first ground cherry, so that's awesome. Tomatillos are looking good. I'm not sure exactly what's going on here. This is a black strawberry cherry with some black spots. So um, I sent out an email to see if I can get some help with that one. And then on this side, I also have this mingle mix from Haas Tools that's got some black spots and it's not growing like both of these plants, like that one and that one. Or mingle mix but as you can see this one is like really short and that one's really tall so I think I might have to pull that one out this bed has more leaf curl going on a little bit up here but so far things are looking okay I found a little bit of white on the surface of the soil where I've got the cardboard underneath and a couple spots. I don't know. I need to keep an eye on that. I don't know what that's about. Um, I've got a couple of onions. There's one coming up down in that bed that I had planted coming up. I forgot about them, so they're literally under this cardboard trying to grow. And then over here, this is that little San Marzano right there is from a sucker that I rooted and I had to remove the other one from right there. So those are too close together, but I'll try to train it a little more that way. And then I've got some pink fang tomatoes growing, which is super exciting. Some of my basil is starting to bolt, but I have some Genovese basil um, in a container that I seeded, so I'll be able to put that out. Peppers are looking pretty good. These down here were kind of wilty looking last night, but I checked the water level and the water was fine, so I didn't do anything with them. But um, I have topped, all of the bigger peppers have been topped. So that's why they have these big side leaves and then these smaller leaves here because they're growing bushier right now.
I'll probably have to dump that tray out because those don't need to be sitting in water. Um, this is my Tobago peppers that are looking good. Got an issue with one of my peppers over here. That is a habanada. So I don't know. I'll probably have to pull that one. These Mad Hatters are looking good. They're starting to um, have flowers on them. These are the fish peppers. They are actually supposed to look like this because they are a variegated pepper. So I keep telling myself every time I see them that they don't have anything wrong with them. It's kind of funny. Oh, and I almost forgot. Down here on this end of this bed is a sunflower that accidentally got topped somehow. And it is growing side shoots. So I'm really excited about that. I'm, I may get some side shoots off of those up there. But I don't know what kind that was. So now I gotta now I've gotta do some sunflower research. Maybe I was supposed to top some sunflowers and didn't realize it. Get my trash out of here. It might rain. So I'll get this thing of dirt out of here. Um what else do I got going on? Oh, and I also have some cayenne peppers that are growing down there, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm having an issue with my strawberries. So, some of my strawberry plants are doing this. Um, I don't know what's going on with that. This one is kind of looking odd. That one doesn't look good. I've already had to pull four out of this tower. And they're typically from the lower spots. So there's two that I pulled. And then under there, there's two that I pulled. So I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. I think I need to take that tower apart because the top reservoir didn't have the holes drilled through. And I did not realize that I've had that thing for like a whole entire year. And then these are, whew, these are my seeds. I've got going here, all the zinnias. I'm purposely growing some dandelions, but they haven't germinated, so it happens. I'm growing those for food. Um, there's some zucchini, some pumpkin. Over here, there's also a butternut squash, I think. The sugar baby watermelons. I'm trying to seed gherkins because I don't know what's going on with the gherkins. And I've got some new cucumbers that I'm trying to grow to put out in the garden because I did not seed those at all. I might just throw some in the ground and see what happens. And then these are slow bolt cilantro that I'm waiting on. So that's it. And I'm not feeling good because I've got a headache because Conjol changed my medication yesterday. So that should be a fun weekend.